Hey, Seth David here from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, and welcome to another Notes from Nerds Desktop. This time I want to show you a really cool tip for tracking registrations when you're using Zoom to give a webinar. Uh, first of all, real quick, a little bookmark tip. I've got a uh, link bookmarked directly to where the reports are in Zoom. That saves time. I'm going to do a registration report for this Wednesday's webinar, which is on how to start or restart your accounting or bookkeeping career. And I'm going to grab this CSV report. Okay. Now, a CSV, as many of you hopefully know, is a comma-separated value uh, file, which opens up very nicely in Excel. And you just saw on my screen there for a second where this is ultimately going. So I'm going to come back to this in a minute. But what I do the first time I download that registration report is I format it. I start off with something that my friend Matthew from Parkway Solutions uh, encouraged me and encourages many of us to do, which is to create a table. So my table starts here where it has first name and so on. And that's got all the people who've attended. Um, and then you'll have some static numbers, which I convert into a formula, namely this one here, the number registered. Notice I change it into a count formula. So it's actually counting how many people are registered. So what you're going to see, because it's formatted as a table, and because I've got that formula in there, I'm going to be able to quickly just go to the um, part of the file I just downloaded that's new, right? So I'm going to find that last person on that list in the file I just downloaded. And I'm going to grab all the people from her down. All right, so I'm going to copy and paste. So I just, again, I match up the last person in the file and I select that range from there down and control C. And then over here, right at the bottom of the table, I'm just going to paste values and notice the table automatically expands and notice the number registered instantly updates because with the table expanding and the formula being based on the table, um, it, 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 it's smart. It knows how to add that. If this were in a table, the formula would not have updated. Um, it would have only included, I would have had to redo the formula, in other words, every time. So this is just a really cool way for me to keep it uh, nice looking, visual. And also, as you can see, uh, when people register, I, I invite them to ask a question, which I'll answer during the show, so that um, I can actually have this open during the webinar and answer the questions. So Again, it's just a really cool way. And the way we do this, I'll go to the file I just downloaded just so you can kind of see quickly how to set this up. Um, assuming this had been the first one. First of all, what I do is I insert a row here for a minute. And then I highlight the whole range and control T is in table. It finds the range because I've already selected it, right? And then I go in and just give it some additional formatting, right? Which I'm not gonna bother to do here. And over here, the formula is equals count A. That just counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty. Open parentheses. And I'll just pick on the first name because that's one thing for sure everybody here is going to have. And I hit enter. And having now done that, anytime I add more rows, it has to be adjacent, right? It has to be the very next line. If I insert it here or paste it in here, not going to work. It has to happen right in the next available row. And then the table will recognize that, automatically expand, and the formula will automatically update for me. So it's just because you can do it so quickly, it's worth it to me. And it's a nice thing to have in front of me so I can see exactly how many are registered, who's registered. And I love having this open, like I said, during the webinar so that I can refer back to this information if, when, and where necessary. And also, I have this automated, of course. But if you don't, you can grab the email addresses from this file and send out a follow-up email. In my case, when you sign up for a webinar, I have a zap in the background that, that kind of adds or keeps you on a list so I can easily send follow-ups to the people who have registered as long as they haven't opted out. That's another story for another day. That, my friends, is my really cool tip on how to track your webinar registrations from Zoom.